Are you that person that has all these great ideas for a channel, a YouTube channel, and you have no idea how to get started? Well, then you're in the right place. What I'm going to show you today is how to actually create the channel. You've already got the ideas. You've done the research. You know what you want to do, and you're excited to dive in, but you don't know where to begin. I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to actually create the channel so you'll be ready to start uploading your wonderful videos. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel where I have a video every week where I'll share tips and tricks and everything YouTube to help you with your channel. All right, let's dig in. First, I'm going to show you if you've never had a channel, you have absolutely no know what to do. I'm going to take you from scratch. After that, I have, I'll show you where you need to go if you're going to start your second channel. Um, there's a certain site that you have to go to to find it, and I'll show that to you. All right, let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is log into www.youtube.com and since you've never had an account it's going to ask you to either sign in or create the account. You're going to see something like this screen here pop up. Once this screen pops up you're going to go ahead and insert your email or phone number and then you're going to select for myself or for my business. I recommend selecting for my business because um, or for yourself, excuse me, because then they won't um, charge you for having the account. Uh, that seems to be what happens. Then you're going to put your name in, your email address, um, password, and then conform it. Um, if you don't have a, an email address or Gmail, you're going to have to create one. And then at the bottom there, put your password in. Later, um, you're going to verify your phone number, and Google is going to call the number to verify it, so make sure you put a working phone number in, and then once they give you a code to put in, then you're going to verify your phone number. If the code doesn't work, just go back, do it again until you can get through. You can't go to the next step unless that code is in and it's verified. If you want them to call you instead, you could do that um, if, if it doesn't work with your email. So either way works, but you have to be verified before you can move on to the next step. So make sure you do that. And then once you're verified, you're going to put your phone number um, that's already in. Um, you're going to put a recovery email in. So make sure you put in another email in in case you forget your username and password. They can email you at that other personal um, email. And you definitely want to do that because I've had that happen with accounts where you can't get the information back. And then, of course, put your birth date in and put your gender um, there at the bottom. And then move on to the next slide. And... Um, you can skip that page. I, I just remembered. I just skip that next page and then put in, uh, go ahead and agree to your privacy and terms down here at the bottom. You agree to the terms and then confirm and you are in. Now, if you already have a channel, you're going to have to go in and create another channel from this site here. It's www.youtube.com slash account. And then you're going to select create a channel from here. Um, you'll still go through the same steps, but this it, you're, I'm, I'm adding another channel to my account, if that makes sense. And I'll go ahead and videotape it here um, as I add my new one. You want to put in your channel name. I'm not ready to upload a video. I'm just setting up the account. That's going to, that's a whole nother video <laughs> in training. What you're going to do is you probably want to put your picture here or a logo or something that represents your account. I'm using a puppet for this account. So I will select this and upload the picture that I made earlier. All right, in here it's cu channel customization. It went right in here and it's going to say your picture. It's very easy to follow, but you're going to upload your picture here. Now what we're going to do first is upload the profile picture. A lot of times you just put your own picture there because typically your channel is named after yourself or maybe a logo from your business. I wanted a puppet. I'm making, like I said, I'm making a channel. A puppet's going to tell stories. Um, so it's not going to be me. It's going to be the puppet. I did not like the gray background, so I want to show you what I did. I took this image of the puppet with the gray background, and I wanted to remove the background. Now, I have a video about that, and I'll you can go ahead and see it in more detail if you would like. But basically, I went to this program called removebackground.com or remove.bg um, and and then it removes it i just pulled in my photo it took off the background and that's the image that i have now i'm going to upload that image into my 
as my profile picture with the white background. I think it'll pop better. Select Upload. And then you'll scroll down, take it right from your desktop, and it will pop right back up. And if you're happy with it, you just select Done. And you can see that helps that puppet pop a little bit better with that white background. All right, the next one is the banner image. Now I'll show you how I create my banner. It's probably not my final one. I did it very quickly. I um, hadn't put a lot of thought into it, but I did, use, I did create it in Canva. And let me show you basically how I set up my template. When you first get into Canva, you can um, go over here to the top where it says create a design and you can actually put in channel art and that's going to pop up. Now the problem is when you go in there for YouTube channel art, it gives you a big blank page like this. And I'm going to show you the template that I made. It's only the center of it that's going to show up on YouTube and you'll find out when you go to play around with it. It will take you a few tries, but what I ended up doing was making myself a template. This is basically the area that will show up on your channel art. So what I did is I played with it with some squares. I made sure I had the area outlined and anytime I go to revise it or create a new one, I just duplicate the page and then I put some um, art on here. And this just says read aloud with Nana. Again, I'll probably change this, but I wanted to have something to put on here um, for the sake of this video. So you download it and then you just upload it from your desktop. Now this shows you here, the entire thing is viewable on the desktop, but the rest of this is viewable on all devices. And to be honest, I will probably go back and revise this and make the book, uh, I'll move it over to the left so that it doesn't look funny there with the two edges caught, cut off. You can go to fiverr.com and people will actually design things like that for you for like 10 bucks. If you know what you want, you have an idea and you don't want to take the time because it will take you time to get it all figured out. You can pay somebody usually about $10 to do it. It's not that bad. Now this here is the video watermark. The video watermark is the little mark that you find in the bottom right hand corner of the video. Um, and it's a subscribe button. And I also designed that in Canva. And I put my little puppet face there and then I put the subscribe here underneath and that should all show up at the bottom of the video and people can just select that and hit subscribe. Now I'm gonna darken this just a little bit. I'm gonna make it bold so it pops a little bit. And I use the logo size for that and that should pop up as a square just like that. Now you have three choices. You can bring it in only at the end of the video. You can custom start it. If you hit that, you can say, hey, I want it to start or only last for about 10 uh, seconds or start at a certain time, or you can let it run for the entire video. Now I'm gonna change this. I was starting to put little books and it didn't work real well. So I'm just gonna remove that. And then I'm gonna upload the one that I just made. And this is what pops up and I'll say done. And then that will be in the corner of my video. See how cute that is down there? Um, so while they're reading the book, again, I can come back and change this anytime. If I look at a video and I don't like the way that it looks, you can always come back and change it. All of this is easy to change, so don't overthink it. Just get it on there, get started with your channel, and you can always come back and, ch and change it. I know sometimes I did that in the beginning. I got so hung up in things like this. And this is not what makes people come and watch your videos. It's your content. They're seeking you out because they want the information that you have. Before we select a view channel and we go see what all of that looks like, we want to hit this basic info button as well. Here in the description, you can tell everybody what your channel is about. You don't have to put a lot. Just put a couple sentences about what your channel is about. This is your URL to your channel. And I believe it's after you have 100 subscribers. It's not a lot. You can do you can do your own customized channel. So after the word channel, you can put in your name or you can put in your channel name or anything else you want to bring people to your channel. Down here, there's contact information if you want people to be able to contact you. And this is kind of cool here where it says add links. If you open that up, you can add up to five links. And one of the links, and all of them actually, um, if you want them to, can show up on the channel page at the top. So if you have a website you want people to go to, or if you have a free offer, then you can put that link up in your channel and people can click that and go right to your website or wherever else. But you can see here, um, you can put in up to five. Now this is what the channel looks like. Honestly, that channel art is pretty big. I'll probably play around with that and make it a little bit smaller. That pops a little bit too much. Um, but you can see my little profile picture over here and I can customize the channel. Now, 
you can do other things like customize sections and things like that but at this point just start making videos and just let them be uploaded and later when you get at least 15 or 20 then you can start learning how to organize it and create playlists i do have a video about creating playlists if you want to look at that it goes into more detail but like i said you really don't have anything to organize yet so watch the video and at least you know what potential it has i hope this was helpful congratulations you've now got your channel set up and you're ready to upload some videos and you can go back and revise um, at your leisure when you're creative and in the meantime start making some videos enjoy and i'll see you on the next video